Here they go. There goes one. Thud, Clover, delete altitude restriction. I got these delete two. altitude restriction. Uh, nobody home at the Eagle will just be dry on the range, though. Yeah, we told Why there's a new American fighter called the F-21. Lockheed Martin has announced a fighter jet it calls the F-21. The single-seat fighter is packed with missiles, modern sensors, and can engage in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. It's not exactly new though the rest of the world knows this plane is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. Lockheed Martin has announced a fighter jet it calls the F-21. The single-seat fighter is packed with missiles, modern sensors, and can engage in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. It's not exactly new though the rest of the world knows this plane is the F-16 Fighting Falcon. For years, Lockheed has been lobbying India for a fighter contract in excess of 100 jets. Why? Because it saw a window of opportunity. India traditionally bought its defense tech from the Soviet Union and Russia, but recently, the hugely populous nation has been on a roll buying American military technology, including the P-8 Poseidon and A-64 Apache attack helicopter. Now, India is seeking a foreign fighter for its air force. There's stiff competition between Lockheed's F-16, Boeing's F-A-18EF Super Hornet, the Swedish Gripen, French Rafale, European Eurofighter Typhoon, and Russian jets. To break through the logjam, Lockheed decided it needed to upgrade its offering. The latest version of the F-16, officially dubbed the F-16 Block 70, is a thoroughly modern fighter jet. The original F-16 was introduced in the 1970s, but the new jet is a different beast thanks to advanced avionics, the APG-83 active electronically scanned array radar, above-wing fuel tanks for increased range, and an automatic ground collision avoidance system. The Block 70 also has a structural service life of 12,000 hours, compared to 4,000 to 8,000 hours for earlier versions of the F-16. Probably have to wait for the sun. Yeah, I'm shooting some video now. This is great. The sun's gonna come through here in a second. The fact that this upgraded jet is still called an F-16, however, is both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, the F-16 has an excellent reputation and is in service with nearly 30 air forces around the world. On the other hand, well, it's old. Not to worry, though, because Lockheed came up with a marketing solution, rebrand the plane as the F-21. This is not an official designation, but it does help share the perception of an aging jet. Looks good, maintained. We're going to uh, wait for the sun and then we'll get some pictures. The F-21 also has some tricks the Block 70 doesn't have. Lockheed's promotional video shows the fighter with a remarkable 10 missiles 8 medium range, radar-guided AMRAM missiles plus 2 AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles. The F-21 can be seen carrying a sniper electro-optical targeting pod, also produced by Lockheed Martin. In service with the F-35, 